Greetings. Um, I see that Facebook switched the thing up. So I am going to share this out. Wait for some folks to come on. Let's see. Okay. Better. Hmm. There we go. While I wait for some folks to gather, I am going to burn some roses. Where are they? Hmm. Hey, y'all. Greetings, greetings, greetings. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Moon Goddess Temple. Tonight, we are going to be talking about sovereignty and ancestral protection the alchemy of it, okay? So first, I want to... Today, I want to burn some roses. Mm. Send out that beautiful energy to y'all. This is Womb Goddess Temple, so this space is not for the masculine. If you are a masculine, please leave this space. This space is contained for the goddesses, for the infinite divine protection, for our nourishment. Ashe. Mm -hmm. So pretty, right? Look at that. These were actually pink roses. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're gonna get started in a minute. I just wanted to give it a little bit of time. Let some folks come in the room. Come on in, take your shoes off, relax, get comfortable. Um, I've been here teaching and transmitting tonight. Come on in the room. We're talking about feminine energy alchemy around sovereignty and ancestral protection. Earlier today, I was talking about this key frequency of the real protective magic is your sovereignty. This message came down to me this morning. So I wanted to share it out with y'all tonight. So come on, come on, come on, come all goddesses. Relax, take your shoes off. This is a time for transmission and connection in one goddess temple and sisterhood. Ashe. There we go. Mm. Mm. That feels so good. So first I want to, I got all my notes. I want to open up in prayer, shall we? Just come to a place of gratitude and thanksgiving within yourself, within your womb, within your core. <sighs> whenever you catch this live stream, whenever you catch the replay, it is perfect for you, okay? But tonight, I noticed the moon is in Aquarius. I went outside um, and the night sky is so clear and so beautiful and I just felt that energy of just the fullness of the moon which I can't see which I know is there and it's in my sign Aquarius so I was just like oh I feel that energy I want to invite you to take time to moon gaze on all the faces not just the actual full moon there's medicine there and seeing the moon mother <sighs> drop down, drop down, drop down, drop down, drop down. Into your womb. 
I'm going to call forth the womb goddess containment. May the stream be blessed. May the technology be blessed. May the information be blessed. May the transmission be blessed. May the ancestors be pleased. May your heart, your womb, your soul, your feminine system, and your highest best self receive fully what is here for you. That's <sighs> it. Just breathe here with me. Releasing the day. It's nighttime here on the East Coast. Releasing and setting all your cares aside, all your to do lists aside, all that was on your head aside. Let's just set it down, place it, give it to the mother, and allow your highest self to take step forward. So that you can receive what's here for you tonight. Daytime, whenever you receive this stream. Come and sit with me, my sister. I want you to bring all your intention and your attention to your soul. Connecting with your soul, you know, throughout all of our energy systems, all of our energy centers, we hold soul portals within us, centers. When I connect with the energy of soul, where does that land at in your body? For me, that lands in my womb, that lands in my pussy. I feel it all in my solar plexus. So I want to invite you to connect with the energy of soul within yourself. Oh, do you know how good it feels to be soul sovereign? Connect with the frequency of soul sovereignty. It feels so good to be sovereign. I believe it and I know it. In my heart, in my soul. It feels so good to be sovereign. I believe and I know in my heart and soul. I feel in your body where that lands for you. Ooh, I feel it. I feel it here. Mm, I feel it in my cervix. I can feel it. Oh, it feels so good to be sovereign. I know it's true and I believe it in my heart and soul. That's the thread. That's the thread. It feels so good to be sovereign. I know it, I believe, it's true for me. I connect with it in my heart and soul. Hmm. Where did that land for you? That's all in my pussy, I feel it. Sovereignty, soul sovereignty. Mm, it feels so good to be sovereign. I believe and I know in my heart, in my soul. <sighs> Let that expand. See, you know, when you connect to pleasure and feeling good, it's an opener. 
it's an opener. The pleasure, that's Ushun energy. It's an opener. And connecting to pleasure from a place of soul sovereignty gives you that juice. It's like this lubrication that you need when you begin to unravel all the patterns that is within your womb, your holy pelvic bowl, your heart, your ancestral lineage. But when you connect to the goodness, you connect to the goodness of sovereignty and your consciousness and let that weave and bless your ancestral lines. You connect to the pleasure of it, the goodness of it, the truth of it. And that's where you receive the nourishment. So when you are in that time where you're going deep and you're dropping and you're dropping and you're looking at the egoic patterns and you're looking at the ancestral patterns and you, you're looking and you're seeing these things in your family and you're unwinding and you're doing your lineage work, you're devoting. It's that, it's that it feels good. That softens you. And that soul opens you where you can feel the goodness of sovereignty because you are doing it and you're doing the best that you can. And it is full. It is enough in your soul. Every thread, every strand, every thought, every word, every action that is for the good of your evolution evolves the next, and the next, and the next. The next daughter, 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 daughter. The next son, 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 son. The next womb, 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 womb. It nourishes the ancestral energies back and back. It's enough. You sitting here, being here in womb goddess frequency, it's enough. So receive the blessing of soul. Mm. I am so sovereign. <sighs> yes, I am so sovereign. And it feels so good. So let us weave on this thread, Ashe. Mm. Soul sovereignty, protection, ancestral magic. And the truth that real protective magic is your sovereignty. What do I mean by that? Real protective magic is your sovereignty. It's the... Your queen mother. And its function is your divine choice. It's connecting from that seat of power... That is within you, wherever you feel your soul energy at, right? Pussy, womb, heart. You know, I feel my source point in my womb. Wherever that resonates with you, Ashe, that is where you connect. That is a space within all of your, your systems to be able to connect with the energy of sovereign and power and truth. There's this beautiful connection that I found with the womb, womb portal, and the ori, the highest self, and how you can bless yourself to be in a seat of sovereignty through your thoughts, through your highest self. I'm sorry, I'm just getting a little distracted here, which you've been seeing faces and stuff. Um, <laughs> And see who's coming on. I bless anybody who come on. Just jump on in. Take a seat. Take your shoes off. Relax. I am going to ask you to go ahead and share this out to your folks. Because who don't want to learn about sovereignty in the womb? And the mothers and the ancestors. Everybody do. So please go ahead and share this out. Because we want to share and expand the frequency. <sighs> so a few, some time ago. I connected from this place of divine sovereignty through the womb and I realized this connection of Ori, according to Yoruba tradition, we could also say the highest self, right? I'm going to speak that language because it's a language that I vibe with. So I realized this deep nourishing connection between Ori and womb. 
right? And vibrating in this connection between my head, my highest self, my guardian angel, my own head, my highest, highest, most sovereign self. My Ori, she who knows what's best for me at all times and is always alchemizing me to move me back to the fulfillment of my destiny, the contract that I made when I came into this earth, my soul agreement. Ori. And how that energy weaves and goes, shifts down into my womb and having this beautiful just dance and connection of wisdom, power, sovereign truth, functioning, weaving back up, wisdom, power, sovereign truth, functioning, weaving back up, wisdom, power. See that, that eternal sovereign truth and very practical, <laughs> very, very practical in such a way that it transform your thoughts, right? transform your thoughts so that your thinking and the thoughts that you are radiating out to the world nourishes your destiny and nourishes your divine sovereignty through your choices i am renewed in my mind right so having that renewal and constant blessing of your head in your own power and your own ashe right you want to do the traditional work, do the, can I quote the Bible, oh, yo, whoever you do, that's according to the tradition. And you and your own inner priestess devoting yourself to weaving that connection of how can I connect with sovereignty? Do you know that wisdom is also a form of protection? Well, how do I be wise? My head is the wisest, I know. I have soul energy connection in my highest self. I have soul energy connection in my womb. I have soul energy connection in my pussy. And in this way, I can connect with the wisdom and how I am assigning and placing my life force energy according to divine choices and nourishing myself in that and recycling my ashe in such a way that I am living and breathing and fulfilling my divine destiny and soul contract according to what is true and real for me in function and in form and calling forth all that is in the divine feminine realm that I nourish and I nourish and I nourish and, I, and it's here and I can feel it and I can experience because I am sovereign and I am choosing to activate that sovereignty through divine responsibility choice and in that, there is wisdom, and the wisdom is what gives you the protection. Why? Because you're not continually making decisions that unravel, dissolve, block, whatever you want to call it, and keep on putting stuff in your own way because you are an enemy unto yourself. Oh my goodness, God has helped me to not be an enemy and cause my own self-harm. Bless my head. Free me of inner and outer harm. Allow me to walk in true sovereignty that my choices will be aligned in my highest self through my thoughts, through my words, through my heart, through what I radiate, through my deeds, throughout my whole womb and pelvic bowl and all that I am. May I be in alignment with this wisdom because wisdom, right mindedness is a form of protection. Now I'm getting to, to the alchemy of, we're talking about protection. The alchemy of protection. The alchemy of protection is not just getting all your things, right? Yes, we do the lakeys. We do all the medicine according to our various traditions. We do that, yes. And the protection comes in working of your own system in the energy of sovereignty and full responsibility, By unraveling the energies that is within my soul that I carry, that is part of the feminine collective, that's part of my ancestral stuff, that's part of my own life womb stuff. By saying and taking responsibility and saying, it all belongs to me, all of it. 
And I am willing to unravel those patterns for my soul, for my freedom, for the fulfillment of my destiny that I contracted with. Ashe. So throughout my, I hope that blesses you. Give me some hearts, some thumbs up. Let me know y'all y'all with me. Y'all in this room flowing with me tonight. So I want to tell y'all something. Mm. Let me get back to this. I want to tell y'all something. During my moon mother initiation, right? I, um, so that was several months ago at this point, at least, what, two or three months now? Um, during my moon mother initiation, which is now the lineage that I function in, in my womb healing practice and devotion where I'm connected with like a global sisterhood of like over 6,000 around the world, um, doing this work into the divine mother, into the feminine and within ourself. Um, I began a devotion and I wanted to tell y'all about it at the time, but you know, I was just in the alchemy <laughs> and, um, I began a devotion where I connected with my, my Ori right in my womb so for me at that time i work a lot with my feminine system just alchemizing looking at those threads looking at those patterns looking at what's coming up being a sacred observer i see something i feel something i have a connection i have an interaction something lands with me in in my, i feel the ego patterns I, I do the unraveling of these threads and nourishing myself in that process um through pussy right through central womb goddess energy alchemy right and blessing my and having the support of my ancestors along the way and so I, this is just part of what i do and so i began to connect with ori in in a different way in a different way i began to weave the energy of ori to gain um to to really to nourish sovereignty um and right right mindedness um and so I was guided to do a ritual, right? So if you have um, a womb altar, and of course I can help you erect a womb altar during my womb immersions and stuff like that. But if you have a womb altar or an altar where it's just like a box and it's an altar, whatever you need to do, you do and you connect with the energy in a way that's for you. I went a long time with a womb altar. Then I didn't fool with it for a long time. And I just worked primary in my system because i am the altar that alters that shit and so are you and so i did erect um, my current altar in devotion to being a moon mother and just in my system and what i noticed is that my feminine system loves it i love a womb altar right i have all my moon mother stuff and all the things right and so every single thing that i place on my altar i feel it immediately in my system my, 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 my womb altar is a shrine in that I give offerings unto myself and unto my womb, the altar of my womb, right? The altar of my pussy. And it's a, it's a, it's a shrine in that way in devotion and it's a working altar as well, both, right? Um, and so I found myself doing an Ori, um, devotion, immediately when I gave myself these offerings, I simply gave myself um, a coconut and some shea butter and I blessed it, you know, did the light. Simple, simple devotion because I, this is what I was called to do. And so I gave myself the coconut. I gave myself the shea butter. I laid a white light. I said my prayers, did all the things right. Set it on my womb altar. Remember, I do not take away from traditional medicine according to all of our African religion traditions and what we follow. Yes, and for me. Yes, and I am sovereignty. And I do womb goddess alchemy. <laughs> okay? My tradition. And Shay. So, this is what I was called to do according to my soul, my sovereignty in my womb. And so, I went ahead and I gave myself that offering immediately i felt all of this white energy just rolling in into my system pouring out clarity clarity and i felt instantaneous just a washing and the sovereignty just came over me of rightful 
right-mindedness and thinking. And not only that, I felt the power of through my womb portal and the connection of Ori and womb and Ori and womb and Ori and womb. So I have that. I went ahead, you know, disposed of it, did all my things. I have the shea butter. And so I jarred the shea butter. And whenever I feel like I want to have an extra blessing, I'll just rub some of that shea butter in. You know, because your beauty also, you can rub your scalp down with oil and stuff. And, you know, we enchant our products, right? So, rub that on down. Rub that on down. Bless my wounds with some of that shea. Connect with that. And so, I can feel my right mindedness and I can invoke the energy of wisdom because what ancestral wisdom wound wisdom pussy wisdom heart wisdom the wisdom of your feminine the great mother all of the wisdom the crone mother all of this wisdom is what aligns you up with being as your sovereign self because you can operate in a place of divine choice to where you are not continuously causing yourself harm by way of you <laughs> self-harm Yes, and why is there a yes, and there's a yes, and because everything that we do, even the choices that we feel like were mistakes and things like that, it just aligns us up back with love. Even the kinky, kinky stuff that we do to cause ourselves harm because we want to feel alive, <laughs> and you know, we do all these things, right? Um, to experience ourselves as a shero, all of the human experiences of why we allow for harm, right including with people. And so I want you to well understand this one thing. Can't nobody cause you harm unless they get permission from you. Mm -mm. Yes. No one can cause you harm. Not no one thing, not no thing, not nothing in this world. Not no force, no deity, not no soul, not no, nothing can harm you without getting permission from you. So in that truth, Ashe, Ashe, where that land for you in your soul, in your body. I felt that in my in my pussy. Because it's it's pure power to understand that and you can dissolve victimization. And then you can come back around and oh, something happened, something there, something happened. I feel triggered. I have these egoic um triggers and shame came up and fawning came up and flight or flight came up or that irked my nerves or this came up and oh this happened and that didn't feel like it was an agreement to me and I didn't like the way that that thinking and da, da, da. all of the things the living the life the situations all of the conditions that you didn't necessarily feel like you liked <laughs> you permitted it <laughs> you permitted it and so in this, you are sovereign by taking divine responsibility. Not no one can hurt you because of that. Whew, don't that give you a relief? No one can hurt you. Nothing can hurt you. Nothing can harm you. Unless you absolutely agree to that because you want to have the experience. You want to play the game. That's it. Oh, I promise you, I once believed I needed all of this like protection stuff and this and that and this and that. And I was running on this thread of like fear. But what I truly needed was to unravel me. What I truly needed was to connect with the sovereignty of me. What I truly needed was to connect to how do I embody and feel on a visceral level how do i grok it in my soul how do i get it in my thoughts how do i get it in my body to connect to my power and thus my sovereignty well for me it's through the womb and through the pussy this is just what it is that's the path that's the way okay this is what lines aligns with me this is how i feel full and whole oh this is how i feel good and i feel so sovereign these things and so I do more of those things and I nourish that thing and in this way I feel my sovereignty and so I have my notes I'm gonna go to them I'm gonna get to these notes because it's good and I also um post it I said I was gonna post it last time there's so many but I want to tell you if you are on my womb goddess list it's best to get on there inbox me whatever so you can connect because I send out 
lots of writing, okay? And so I'm going to get to this, all right? What I needed was to be responsible of the causes. Let your soul get this in your body. Of the causes of conditions in my life, what I needed was to look at the spaces where I enjoyed suffering and why. And there's nothing wrong with it. Sometimes suffering feels good, right? Sometimes it just feels good to suffer. I know, contrary to popular belief, there will always be suffering in the world in of that end of our own choosing. Why did it feel so good? And in that, what was the root of it? And getting to it going down into it and going further down into it and getting beneath it and getting beneath the shame and the childish blame and all of the ego patterns and all the ways I don't take responsibility and to see where the actual root cause of this condition, this thread, the way I think or so on and talk and this and this and that and now I see the manifestation in my reality because this and this and that and it doesn't feel good. Oh, I don't really want to experience this, but you do. Because why? You are 100% sovereign. How powerful are you? How powerful are you? That you created such an experience and you can undo it, such an experience. And you have the power because you have the cellular memory and the ashe of your ancestors to do this lineage work to unravel that too. And it's such a beautiful devotion and connection to soul sovereignty. Ashe. Because the truth is it all belongs to you. It's divine responsibility. Where there is power, there is responsibility. You cannot have power and sovereignty and not be responsible. It's impossible because you can't hold it. You got to claim the claim it. it this belongs to me. I claim it. I take full responsibility for it and I activate it and I move it and I unravel. I do the devotion. I do what's necessary in order to have my soul freedom and thus, thus freedom of my ancestors and my lineage. Period. It's the ancestral season, y'all. And so this is why I say unravel and the frequency unravel. You will hear me saying this all the time because that's what it is. It's an ongoing devotion and asking of why and the commitment and accepting and loving on it and get into it inside yourself and doing that through womb doing that through your sex through your heart through soul because i am sovereign and i am responsible and i am also responsible for my lineage and then you ask protect me oh god is protect me oh god protect me most most wise honorable loving well ancestors in this responsibility and guard my mind that my mind and my thoughts will be in alignment with divine love and my divine birth blessings on this earth and this pregnant in this on this planet. And I am sovereign in it. Woo. I am sovereign in it. Ashe. That's that. Do you get it? That Ori womb connection. Your Ori womb connection. Ashe infinite that frequency of infinite yes here we consider all things we call on ancestral love we call on infinite divine love and all of the protect protective things that we have all of the charms and the lights and all of the medicine everything that we have that nourishes the feeling of protection in our system this includes our ancestral mothers and our ancestral fathers, especially our ancestral fathers. Now, listen, Sunday, we're going to do the mother womb portal. We're going to come back on a full moon. All the mother stuff is going to be on Sunday and on um, on Wednesday, the full moon. I've already begun to shift into father, the father devotion, because the masculine is how our feminine gets to 
surrendering, relaxing that protection. The Father, we soften in our innocence. We feel that anchor. I got you, Ashe. And so all of this energetic is a fundamental in how we we live as a living intention of unraveling patterns of victimization, of egoic patterns within ourselves and within our lineage. And so what are the ways that we are telling ourselves and having these stories that take us out of our sovereignty that is just not true? I bless you in having a heightened, acute awareness, peacefully, lovingly, and truthfully through the power of honesty. Oh my goodness. Uh, honesty and confession and admission are three things that will set your soul free for sovereignty. I must admit to you, telling yourself, getting, oh God, underneath the shame. I do that all the time. Shame is an egoic power that I'm always I'm always in confrontation with because I have shame will come up. I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe it. And then you know what? After I say, oh my God, I can't believe it, I go down. Okay, what's true? What's true? What's true? What's true? Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. <sighs> okay, then I confess it out. What is the medicine here? What's the medicine here? Right? Asking the mother, my womb, asking goddess, asking the ancestors, asking the forces of nature, asking all that is for then the medicine to solve the understanding so that I can continue to unravel that, pour in love, connect to the energy of sovereignty, feel good, and walk in my power and birthright blessings in my full expression. Ashe, does that make sense to you? What I'm saying doesn't make sense to you. That's what I really need to know. Okay, some folks need to maybe see the written. I'm going to have it available here. I want you to connect with your thought process on how you see protection. I'm talking about the alchemy of protection in releasing fear that, that something is going to happen to you and having your nervous system all crazy because of this belief that something is going to happen. This belief that you, you're you actually powerless and that you are not in control. Yes, you are in control. You're sovereign. And, and yes, you surrender at the same time to, to the infinite divine protection that allows for the feeling of protection to calm your nervous system because you feel nourished and you feel loved. You feel good. Like I said, mm, it feels so good to be sovereign. To believe and to know in my heart and in my womb. That's a connection. That's an energetic. When you feel the sovereignty, just like anything else, how we create on feelings. I feel so loved. How do I feel love? Well, I feel this way and therefore this is happening and I feel loved in that way. Well, then that means that I am loved. In this, I am loved. Divine protection, protection, the energy and the feelings of protection is just a form of love. So we connect connect with infinite divine protection through the frequency of sovereignty because I am responsible and I have choices and not nothing or no one can harm me unless I permit. That's the truth. That's the truth of most ARTs according to honoring your own soul through your head and according to womb goddess tradition through your womb. Ashe. All for your freedom. So what are the ways you are telling yourself that these stories or in the collective or in your ancestral system, the way your ancestors is set up, okay? The way your ancestral energy is set up, the way you see all this stuff around your family that's going on as evidence of. And knowing that it's okay to make the necessary adjustments, claiming it. And saying, I am the one, I am willing. Nourishing ancestral consciousness, not, not just by uh, ritual and doing these things, but actually nourishing ancestral consciousness by unraveling the patterns that's going to make a difference in your actual lineage. That's going to change and transform your lineage 
epigenetics, through the power of epigenetics, thoughts, feelings, actions, food, water, all the things that the conditions, all the stuff that you do in the earth on earth side that will allow for you to experience freedom and blessings in spiritual ashe on earth side and all of the love that your womb heart can stand. Infinite divine intelligence, wisdom, gratitude, all of these things that we don't even like. There is no measure. There's no measure of radiating love. There's no measure of radiating wisdom. There's no measure of these things. Yes, in material possessions. Mm. Goddess has all things in her and all things is, is, is in me. Because goddess have all things in her. So I'm just going to relax that there. I say... And the faith of my ancestors will allow for all of those things. Worry not, right? That's a continuum of devotion. Faith is a devotion. Faith is the energetic that we work in our system by living and committing. Faith, work, lineage, patterns, unraveling, and blessing. That is the work of me <laughs> that's the work that i'm putting out for when god is simple that is it there's nothing else here unraveling and blessing and opening unraveling and blessing and opening it's a continual thing and it can feel good so i will say this in looking at how we feel and how we radiate this in our field is what matters Allowing for all of the things, right? All of the things, all of the herbs and all of the medicines, all of the, the, the charms and all of the stuff to connect in our system. You know, when I give offerings to my shrine, I don't look for um, like the manifestation on the outside, like, uh, you know, whatever, right? The condition, the car, whatever, like the desire. The first thing I look for is is connecting with how I feel. Whew, do I feel that in my system? Where did that land in my body? Oh, I gave Ushuna offering. And where did I hit? I gave Yemi offering, where, right? Uh, the Orishas, that's, that's part of my African religion tradition, right? In my own system, I gave my womb an offering. Um, I give myself fresh flowers every womb phase. And the energy and the essence of those flowers, I can feel them working in my system. So we want to think about our feminine system. That's from a place of maturity and take accountability for our feminine system. And we can go into this system to unravel and to access our ashe, our power, our sovereignty, our soul, our wisdom. And sit in our seat as Queen Mother, live in our divine worth blessing and holding the responsibility. Mother. In whatever tradition that allows for that for you. Right? I'm, I'm pussy. I'm womb. I'm womb goddess. <laughs> right? So, this is what's true. Feeling protection and radiating this in your field matters. Not everything is going to be necessarily how you can see and connect on the outside of you. It's an inward job. It's about getting to the why of your actual experiences. Why are you having these experiences? And why do you feel that you need protection? This panic. Something happened. It's, oh my goodness, the mother is calling us to grow up, right? This something happened. Somebody did this to me. Something's going to happen. Like, in order for us to occupy the space of full responsibility in our mother as women, which is necessarily for this planet, yes, right? The divine feminine is rising and all that stuff. Um, one, the calming of our nervous system. <laughs> like, the calming of our nervous system and feminine responsibility, right? Like, those two together is going to get you far, right? And it's a continued devotion. Trust me. A continued devotion. And so when we think about that, we think about like why you feel like you need um, protection, like why you feel like you got to like do all this stuff and run on this on this pattern of fear. 
how many workers did you run to because you feel like protection? How many oils did you buy? How many candles did you do? How many spells? How many, how much is, how much is occupying your energy because you feel like you need protection? Because it's just a feeling. Is it the actuality? In actuality, are you in, are you in fear? Like, are you, is there a threat to your human life? Right now, in this moment, you sitting here, you connected with me. Is there a true threat? Do you got food? Do you got water? Do you have, are you, are you, um, you know, do, do you have income? <laughs> is there an energy of love somewhere? Like you feel love somewhere in your life. You're, you're well, all is well in reality. And then there's a the feeling, well, why do I have these feelings? What are these patterns? I'm going to tell you something. My grandfather on my dad's side from Mississippi this summer, I went through some serious ass alchemation, ancestral alchemation, because of the fear that was running in my system behind being blackness. Let's just be honest, 100%. Mississippi, all right, you know, terrible, terrible, terrible. All right, all of the things, all of the things around being black in, in, in Mississippi. Okay, I don't have to talk about it. You know what it is. But that energy was running in my system. Whew, and I felt completely victimized. I, I had this egoic pattern that presented itself as this little girl and all of the things that she would do in order to protect herself. When I got to it, it was because of my ancestral father energy. Completely terror, just terror, just ancestral terror running in my system. I'm not the only one. Yet I am willing to take responsibility of that ancestral terror that's running in my system. Why? Because I'm not at peace. I want my peace. I want my power. I want my prosperous conditions. I want to feel full in my love. I don't want anything in my system that's going to separate me from love. Love looks like a check. <laughs> love looks like feeling and being open and fluid with my husband. Love looks like my mother. Love looks like me sitting down, relaxing, reading a book. Love looks like going to the cafe. Love looks like me sitting here with you. Love looks like me putting on my makeup to come on with y'all. I want to feel my whole life in the fullness of it in this lifetime. <laughs> okay. As Jay, I know somebody else feel that way. Okay. You want to feel it in this lifetime. We ain't got no games for the next. All right, for this lifetime. And so when we think about this energy of why do I feel like I need protection? And is, is it a feeling or is it a reality? And let me come back to myself and connect with what's inside of me. What is this call inside of me? Why is this coming up? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? And why? And why? And why? One of the practices from years ago that I started was being a sacred observer of my experience, of my thoughts, of what's coming up. A sacred observer. So I could get to it. So I could get to it. So I could get to it. The beginning of my womb journey, I would go inside of my womb traumas. I would relive you know, trigger, 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 date rape. I would relive trigger, trigger, trigger. And I would go inside of it so I can experience it and look at why did I choose this experience? This is years ago. Years ago. I hear now there's like this, um, ther therapies that allow for you to do, you know, like a, a type of memory recall and stuff like that. But my thing is, I don't spiritual bypass nothing. I want to experience because I want you to take sovereign, be sovereign and take ownership of my experiences and why and how and what and what happened, what led to, why did I choose this and get into the root so I can stop harming myself. And I could choose well and I could bless my lines. It's a continued devotion, Ashay. It's a continued devotion. Share this out, please. So I want everyone to get this within their system. Because the truth is, all of the conditions, good, bad, and different, whatever it is, you wanted it. 
And this is something that is very difficult for folks to, to accept when we weave and we move and we shift in getting out of the energy of victimization. When you are in a space, space of victimization and fear and terror and, and your system is crazy and all this stuff, you you it makes it very, very difficult for you to experience love and peace and freedom and sovereignty. That's just the reality because you're just in that state. That's why I said connect with the energy of mm, feel so good. Honey muse. And in that allowing for that juice to come in to support you as you nourish the unraveling of patterns and the pain that you cause, that you call in and your ancestors and the collective as you do that work connecting to the pleasure because it helps and it blesses it. And again, and again, repeat, repeat, repeat. Why? Because when we hear repetition, we learn and we get it and we get it in our system. Because the truth is, you wanted it all in every person. Absolutely every experience you have given permission to. And this is something we remind ourselves of in devotion to sovereignty, even with our own ancestral energies, the unravel and the support. What does this mean? In, in regards to the ancestors, we have a, a mission there, which allows for truth to come up. We have a confession there. We recognize, we identify, this is the thing. We don't want this condition. Our life looked this way. We don't want the fuck up. We want something better. Ba, 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 ba. And we call on the, in the energy of sovereignty and claiming and taking and saying, this belongs to me. I am going to do and I'm going to unravel the ancestral energies. And as I unravel the ancestral energies, I also call on the love and the support, the nurturing and the power and all of the grace of my well ancestors to come in and to hold me at the same time as I hold my sovereign self through womb, through pussy, through feminine system. That's the process. That's how I live and that's what I teach. That's it. Very nuanced in a different way, in this way, in that way. But that is the essential in accessing your sovereignty and your soul sovereignty and power through the gateway of pussy, through the gateway of womb, through the gateway of heart, through the gateway of your head, your highest and heads, your angel, your angel, your top angel, through the gateway of mother to the gateway of holding, to the gateway of divine responsibility, through your whole system, inside out. So what does this mean? You are all powerful and sovereign in your reality. Yep, I'm going to point and point. That's a form of magic. In your reality, because I'm speaking to you. You are all powerful and sovereign in your reality and your experience. No one can stop you. If they can, it means that you are not powerful. If they can, it means that your ancestors are not powerful. If they can, it means that you are not sovereign. If they can, it means that you are not deeply loved and protected by way of truth and feeling. If they can, it means that you are you are not who you say you are and who you believe that you are and who you are always affirming over and over that you actually are. It's all false and null and void. And I can't believe that that is true. Because every soul that comes to this planet is true and sovereign. Every single one. And so we remember and we remember and we remember and we remember and we remember. I am all powerful in my reality. This whole, all of it. Including you who's sitting here listening and who will listen as part of my reality. I am all powerful in my reality and there is no greater force that is greater than me. I am all powerful in my reality and there is no greater force that is greater than me. I am all powerful, all knowing, omniant. And there is no greater power than Antoinette Nicole Doe. 
in my reality and speak that for yourself there's no greater power than you in your reality you are fully sovereign and this is actually true this is actually true i have been intentionally co-creating my life oh my goodness for a very long time now i will say i remember when i actually tapped into co-creating my life I don't know, 15 years ago or something like that where I began to connect with spiritual laws and I spoke it and I was just like, oh, I'm, this and this and this is going to happen in that order. Yes, some Christian magic. Yes, some some laws, spiritual laws. Yes, but the consciousness of, holy shit, I am creating my reality. I'm God it a long time ago that energy just keeps getting served and served and served and served and served to where it's not just a continual handing over it's not just a continual you know um i'm saved and 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 and, and i'm not speaking against christian tradition i'm talking about taking responsibility because people take that energy of wanting savior and wanting to be saved and they will uh, they will leech onto other people's energy systems because you feel like you're just grasping I know it in my own body. And so how do I connect with sovereignty? What is the spiritual practice? What is the devotion? What is the prayers? What is the process? What is how do I nourish this in my system? And what and what is that 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 brings me to that place? And how do I activate that? And this is where I go because and when I do this, I feel this. When I feel this, I feel sovereign. When I feel sovereign, I feel true. When I feel true, I feel love. When I feel power, I feel connected. I feel protected. I feel contained. And now I feel like, whew, I got the energy for to apply my life force energy here, to do this, to do that, to experience this and this and that. And all of my energy, when we say we call it back our energy, well, honey, you can't call back your energy if you're not being responsible. You can't call back your energy if you're not looking, see what's going on, drop it down, doing the shadow work, going into the dark. This is dark season. This is the time. And you have dark season every single cycle in your natural womb cycle. You always have access to mystery and truth within yourself. Always. And that's what makes you powerful. That's what makes you powerful. So we unravel these egoic patterns, patterns and the egoic patterns that give energy to victimization. Victimization is the opposite of sovereignty. Period. Ain't nothing else. Within us, for the sake of freedom, for the sake of our peace, our prosperity, our blessing, our lineage, our ancestral lines. The kids, you know, we won't even know that's going to be coming through our lineage that we just going to be ancestors, right? In, in this particular um, time and space reality. Magic is not just about spells, potions, lotions, and things. It's about looking at the energetic patterns. What am I saying? Ancestral um, protective magic. It's not just about spells, lotion, potions, and things. It's about looking at the energetic patterns that cause forth these experiences in your feminine system for your highest good, for love, along with all of the support that is here for you in on this earth side. The medicine, the traditional medicine. I believe, as I believe for myself, That we are fully and completely in control of our destiny through divine choice and soul sovereignty. This means we take, why am I saying this again? And why am I saying this again? And why am I saying this again? Why? Because we learn through repetition and that's how we get things in our mind and in our system. And it connects to the truth. Because you you hitting it. It's tapping like, oh, what? Tap, wait, 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 wait. This means we take responsibility for what is required of ourselves for what we truly want to experience in our life. 
Let me say it again. I believe you are fully in control through your own divine choices and so am I and that your soul is sovereign. This means you take, I take full responsibility for what is required of you for what you truly want and desire to experience, to express in your life on a deep soul level and by way of your own highest, most loving self, womb, alchemy, medicine, pussy, alchemy, medicine, ancestral magic, the medicines of our ancestors, the traditions, all of the things, earthside, the angels, all of the forces in nature, all of this stuff that help us to govern and support it, us on the path, in our life path, to govern ourselves through peace, prosperity, blessings, all the things, as we unravel and as we bring forth and call forth love through our choices. That's the, that's the practice. That's the practice. Devotion equals practice. Devotion equals dedication and commitment. Devotion means this all belongs to me. Devotion means I allow for it. I long for it. I yearn for it. It feels good. It nourishes my soul. So I do this. Devotion equals power in a way to connect with sovereignty, divine sovereignty within you. The real protective magic is your sovereignty. I am in protection. Let me give you some mantras. And I am it through my choices and sovereign power. I am sovereign and I am connected and nothing is outside of me. I am all powerful knowing source, resource of my own life. I say, I am in protection and I am it. What does that mean? I surrender in the ways of my human to infinite divine protection, which is love which is those, all the things, the protection prayers and all this stuff when you feel like your human needs that connection to the spirit and the energy, the magic, the truth of protection because you call on it because there's love. When we call on ancestral protection, there's love. When we call on Orisha protection, there's love. When we call on the Loas, there's love. When we call on the river, there's love. When we call on Earth Mother, there's love. We're calling on love. And the feeling therein to feel protected in our human, in our human. Because the reality is, we are. We are the protection. It's all in you. But how do you connect with it to bring it out of you? To mold and create your reality. Co-creation. Am I manifesting? Or am I actually creating? I'm not just responsive. I'm governess. I am leading feminine leadership. And I do that because I can. And I shall and I will. And I meet myself where I am. My goodness, I meet myself where I am. And so I surrender to that infinite. Ooh. I call on the energy of protection to embrace me now. You just, mm, 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 mm. you need to just feel that. You need to just feel it. So you can keep on walking in this human. And then what is in me that makes me feel like I'm not protected today at this moment? Oh my goodness, I send love ahead of me. So that ahead of me, I may feel protected. I send the angels ahead of me. I send my Ori ahead of me. I send, I bless my ancestors ahead of me. The days to come. That I may in those days feel protected. It's a 
feeling. But the reality is your protection is your sovereignty and your divine choice in all things. Even the stuff you be like, oh, I feel so ashamed that I've chosen. You chose it because it felt good. You wanted the experience. That's it. Okay, that's all. Choose again. Ooh, what's so wonderful that you could choose again? Oh, I felt that in my womb, did you? I have the power to choose again. I have the power to choose again. I have the power to choose again and 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 again. I, I do, because I'm sovereign and I give myself that choice by way of grace. If only by grace. And so we pray and I bless you in this prayer. May I be safe from all inner and outer harm. Ultimately, ultimately, the harming of my choosing. May I be safe from that. May I be pardoned. Holy pardon. May I be full of grace in this, in my human, that I may say from all inner, the ideas, the, the, the things, the, the energies that I have not yet unraveled, the stuff that I don't even know is there in, in my outer experience and how I call these things to me because it's in me and there's a connection, it's a thread. Sovereign. Oh, dear God, it's still mother, dear, dear, dear father, dear most whole, dear all of my spiritual core. May I be safe from inner and outer harm. Ultimately, in knowing the truth is, because I take full responsibility and ownership, the harm of my choosing. Help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. Help me in the ways that I hurt and cause harm and block myself and others. To feel safe. My protectors. My closing. My shell. Because dear guys. I want to be open. I want to experience all of the love. I want to experience all of the good. I want to be fully expressed. I want it all. I came here for it. All of the experiences is all yours and mine. No one can cause you harm, including yourself, unless you agree to it. No one can cause you harm, including yourself, unless you agree to it. What does that look like for your ancestors? Well, well, real simple. You agree to be born in this particular line. No one can cause you harm, including yourself, unless you're in agreement to it. That means you're all powerful. You are all powerful in your world. To be powerless or powerful, to feel protected or not to feel protected, is of my divine choosing. I am always choosing, I am always choosing, I am always choosing, I am always claiming what is true for me, unconsciously and consciously. <sighs> and so on this Sunday, we're going to be connecting to these ancestral maternal lineage patterns, what identifying them, what's going on with them, unraveling them, connecting with them, doing that in sisterhood, doing that in womb blessing. I'll give out the, the, the energizer, the womb energizer, all the things, but we're going to get to it. We're going to activate the energy of sovereignty. I'll talk about that a little bit more. We're going to activate the energy of sovereignty in our system. And we're going to nourish that energy by way of, of connecting to mother, connecting to the womb, and I will bless those of us to nourish our pleasure as we do this. Because, you know, sensual and sexual energy is power, but it's also juice and it keeps you going while you are in your dark season. 
right? This is the dark season. I bless y'all to go under. And I'm here for it. I'm, I am a dark goddess. And so, so I bless myself in love's protection in the ways that I lack sovereignty. Hmm. So I bless myself in love's protection in the ways that I lack sovereignty. Protect me in the ways that I know and I don't know. Dear Holy Mother, dear Holy Father, dear Ori, my highest self, my own angel, dear womb, dear pussy, dear Mother Earth, dear all the forces of nature, dear love itself, infinite divine intelligence, dear universe, dear multiverses, dear whomever highest power, whatever you call on, however, dear Holy Body, help me in blessing, all the spiritual laws is wrapped in the law of blessing. So, including divine, divine love. So, I bless myself in love's protection in the ways that I lack. I have a little limitation in my human. Because it's, it's human that we're talking about. Your human self, not your actual sovereign spirit. In my human I feel like I lack sovereignty here and I require protection here. There's a need for protection here in my thinking and how I'm moving. This is the alchemy I'm describing to you here. In the ways that I know and I may not know, I know better and I don't know. And now that I know better, I do better. But sometimes I fall back and I'm still working out this pattern. I still see the stuff and I don't want to see the stuff no more. Like, I'm tired. Help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. And let me just keep on doing it. Because sometimes those patterns, it's a long thread. and I'm just going to keep on. And eventually I won't see these behaviors and these conditions in my reality, in my human and in my sovereign soul self, right? Human being. Protect me through your wisdom that is always readily and available to me and in the realms, those places where I can't see and fully understand in mystery, as I take accountability through the unravel, through the frequency of ravel, of root patterns within me and my lineage, the causes of all conditions. In blessing, I know I am so sovereign and I am deeply supported by my ancestors. How do I know? Because they want well for me. So why? I call on the most whole, the most lovely, the most honorable ancestors and those that are not... That's part of the energy that I am alchemizing and unraveling and bring illumination to in the mystery is what I bless. I bless that energy in me that's connected to those unwell ancestors in blessing for their evolution. And we, and we bless them on their path. That does not mean I have to deal with them because I am sovereign. Even in ancestral tradition and connection, you do not. And so we connect to our most loving and whole ancestors who are supporting us. Like, let's go. I want the best for you. I already believe in you. Where I don't, where you lacking faith right now, I got you. I got all the faith. Again, as I said last week, I have lived this. Our ancestors, our family, the folks that we knew, the folks that we don't, our folks. We take the, you know, all the mystical stuff out of this, right? Like your mom and them, okay? I have all the power. Nothing outside of me is more powerful than me. I have all the power. There is nothing more powerful than me. I have all the power. There's nothing more powerful than me. The sovereignty, the sovereignty, the sovereignty in nourishing that power. And so I will say it again. The real protective magic is your sovereignty, Ashe, period. Everything is everything is everything. Everything is everything. Yes, that's a hoodoo principle. Like that's our that's our that's just life. Everything is everything. Everything what? Everything is everything. What does that mean? Everything is everything. Everything is everything. Everything is everything. 
everything comes back around to bring us back to love and sweet sovereignty and good. And good. And so we bless us in that everything is everything and coming back around to our sweet sovereignty and goodness. Because ultimately you have to be, and I'm going to say you have to be because it's a choice. Okay. I'm not going to imply, you know, you need, I'm going to say, listen, you want to experience your power. You want to experience sovereignty. You want your divine birthright blessings. There's one thing that you must do. You must believe that you live in a universe that is supporting you. Period. Oh, yes, I have some ancestral things in my system and, you know, whatever. I have some things in the feminine collective and, you know, kind of bothers me sometimes, whatever. I have some choices that I make that, you know, all this stuff that we are unraveling, all of these patterns, good and well. And guess what? I live in a supportive universe that got me, that's full of love and everything is working out for my good, period, including that stuff. <laughs> That's it. If you do not believe that you live in a friendly universe, it's all for nothing. Because you are always going to be defeating yourself over and over and over again. And blaming. And having a victim. And then going off and paying millions of dollars for folks to do protective magic, this and that. Obsessing over this and this and this and that. And just all the things. First, believe and I bless you that you are sovereign and you live in a universe that supports your sovereignty and that there is all love all around you, including you at all times. And therefore, you can be at ease. You can trust and you can activate. What, do, what does that mean? Ah, ye of little faith. That means I just need more faith. Well, I could do that. Faith is a muscle. Faith is... Okay, I need to believe more. How? Universe, show me. Okay, little things. Mother, show me a wink today. All right, I had to go out and get all my stuff, my manuals printed and stuff like that. And I said, you know what? I want some real paper. I'm going to print off my notes tonight. Because I typed them up. And I'm going to print them off. Seemed to be working a little bit more. Like an online womb journal works better for me, it looks, than the, the writing in the journal. So sometimes I just write, type it out, write it. <laughs> and I wanted to feel the paper. And so I went, I paid for some of my stuff to be printed off. And the sis like, I forgot my notes. And the sis was just like, that's on me. Go ahead. Oh, wow. What a little wink from Mother Mother. Hmm. That was a wink of abundance. She just sent me some coins. Little winks, we connect to the energy of miraculous and miracle energy and through the power of faith. How gratitude makes it easier to be more faithful. Appreciation, graciousness makes it more e easier to be faithful. Beauty, connected to the energy of beauty makes it so much easier to be more faithful. Seeing the blessings and beauty, beauty all around you at all times. So it may not that you necessarily, um, you know, you, you just need to nourish faith in your system. But you cannot connect to sovereignty and belief and esteem and confidence and all of these things to be governed in your life. Self-belief. All of this stuff that you want to have in you to strengthen good character so that you can co-create your life. Hold all your creations in your womb. Birth them. Feel the goodness of life. All the love that you want. Love look like this, this, and that for you. All of her features. Romance, baby, car, house, whatever. Ashe, life force, energy, ministry. Whatever your stuff is that you desire. Whatever that is for you. I don't know artists however you want to be expressed first you must it's a requirement believe that you live in a friendly universe therefore there's all love that's here so where do you really really truly need protection in your thinking and the pattern that's invoking that fear response and those responses within you And so I get things and I do things and all of these things allow me to experience the feeling of protection in my system and I believe it, therefore it is. I believe that wearing this ifa ide is protecting me. 
I believe it. I believe wearing my Ushuni Lakey is doing whatever it's doing in my system. I believe when I put my face on, I feel pretty and therefore I am. I believe it and I permit it. Because the energy cannot work in your system if you don't give it permission. That's why I tell folks, I bless you in your ori. That's when I'm saying my prayers for everybody, everybody. When God is simple, everybody. I bless the first, I bless you in your ori. I bless you in your higher self. Why? Because I need you to be in agreement with me for your good. Be in agreement for the medicine. Be in agreement. Be in agreement for your highest and best good for your first. Be in agreement for your first. You are your first goddess. You are your first God. You are your first. You are soul. You are sovereign. But you need to be in agreement with that truth. I live in a universe that cares the fuck and loves the fuck out of me. It's just disgusting. Oh my God. I'm so deeply loved. It's ah. <laughs> You ever just, you ever just, oh, feel somebody, they, they love you so much and you just be like, oh, that's how much God, God is infinite divine intelligence love me. <laughs> just, just nasty. Just, ah, yeah, I'm willing to believe that and I'm willing to see that and I'm willing to have that in my experience. And you can't tell me nothing else because love is my medicine. Everything is everything. So, what do I want to say? Take up your peace in knowing that you never lose in love. Mm. There can never be loss. There's no nothing to fear. There's nothing to fear because I'm never at a loss in love. Oh my goodness, I hope you get that in your human, in your soul, in your womb, in your mind, in your thoughts, in your belief system, in blessing your ancestral lines. There's, there's nothing to fear. There's nothing, truly, there's nothing to fear because you are never at a loss. You are always in enveloped in infinite divine protection. Why? Because there is love here. There's always love, 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 love. In you, in you, through you, all around you. You just can feel the energy. Just connect, just connect. That's why I always talk about connection, the frequency of connection. I operate in frequency when I say unravel, when I say sovereignty, when I say connection, when I say it's the frequency. If you know I am connected. And my womb is centered in this connection. What does that mean? I, in my human, internet, in my body, in my mind, in my human self. Whew, okay, boom, I'm back. I stepped out of my connection. I stepped out of my power. I stepped out of my sovereignty. I stepped out of love. I stepped out of my esteem. I stepped out. And I can choose again. And I can choose again. I choose peace. Oh, I choose peace instead of this. I choose love. Oh, I choose love instead of this. I choose womb power. I choose womb power instead of this. Oh, I choose pleasure. I choose, I choose pleasure instead of this. And on and on. And I adjust and I adjust and I adjust and I adjust and I adjust. For the like, like I go to my chiropractor. In my system. It's all love always and always at all times. God is love. God is his love. The ancestors love. I, I put up that mantra the other day about love and the love of our ancestors. My ancestors love gives me power. The love of my ancestors is my power. The love of my ancestor gives me power. My ancestral mamas give me power through their what? Love. My father has to hold me down through their, their love. They're committed to the love of me as their child in my small one, right? Such as I am as a mother. This stuff is not like, it's not out there. This your mom and them, like. So for me, I am, I can connect far more easily because my mom is actually in the ancestral realm. So I am literally, my ancestors, I know I lived and walked with, ate with, slept with. In the unknown, 
that I may have never met, but present themselves to me in support and in love and present themselves to me in the ways for which I need to unravel in my system for my freedom and thus their freedom, the line's freedom, the maternal line, the father line, my eggs, epigenetics, right? How in which my daughter holds her grandchildren. Oh my goodness. The responsibility. Bit by bit, day by day, devotion by devotion. Hope you're getting this. You are already deeply loved and protected, so... Allow for that truth to sink in and land in your body, in your heart, in your mind, in your soul. Oh, it feels so good to know I am sovereign. In my heart, in my soul. I am deeply loved. I am protected and I am the protection. The universe is on my side. There's nothing for me to fear. And in this way, by all means, understand I nourish the energy of surrender. I walk, I walk this, right? It's through surrender though. It's through grace. It's through connecting with to beauty. The beauty of this life and this experience all of it the universe is on my side is the universe is on your side the multiverse right my goodness i said before there's multiverses in your womb and given that truth is that not a blessing of protection in itself let's just put two and two together like my mama said if I could, if I carry the portal of life and death in my body as a female body, and then the essence of her, where in the world do I need protection? I am it. I am the protection. My goodness, thank you. I am the cloak of darkness. The covering and I am the illumination, the light. I am it. Given that that's true, given that that's true, and I believe that it's true. I believe that it's true because of my what? My faith and my experiences in my nurturing nature that makes things possible. I serve that energy. I live that energy. I hold that energy. I connect with that energy. That is my frequency. Bit by bit, day by day, bit by bit, day by day. The womb goddess way. And in this, I breathe, I receive, I absorb, I live. I radiate love to myself and all of my reality and those in my reality to all in blessing as the mother does. Dear mother, may I be that of your kindness and of your goodness, of your truth and of your power and of your sovereignty. May I be the protection and may I surrender to the protection through you, through my ancestral mothers, through my fathers, through the blessing of the unraveling of these things that separate me from the truth of who I am, my destiny, my fulfillment, my life purpose, my pleasure, my joy, my goodness. Help me in all those ways in my human. And until I feel that esteem again and it's built back up and I sit in my seat as my mother I am the protection and I am inside of the protection. Womb God is alchemy. Okay. 
I want to share with something with y'all. Y'all still with me? I want to share something with y'all. Let me drink some water. So the other day, um, on Indigenous Day, we bless Indigenous folks and ancestors. I have um, Indigenous ancestry, in fact. Um, so my husband, he felt a deep call to, uh, he was in the kitchen, you know, doing his thing. And he's just started ministering to me. And I was like, my goodness, babe, where are you getting these downloads? He like, oh, babe, we got to go pour our libations. It's Indigenous Day because I was getting tired, y'all. It was about 10 o'clock or something like that. And I was just like, oh, my God, I would be remiss if I didn't post this this um uh, Indigenous Ancestral Libation service that I did some years back. Um, and I was just like, oh, my goodness, I need to post something. At least let me serve the ancestral consciousness some way today. So I went ahead and posted and, and um. I was holding the energy anyway of gratitude and thanksgiving in my heart. I said, let me go ahead and post and serve the energy in the collective. And my husband was in it. And um, he was like, we got we to gotta go pour our libations and stuff and, you know, do what we need to do. So he was just getting his messages, sharing with me, blessing my heart. Let me tell you something. There is nothing like a man who who leads you in, in ancestral devotion and reverence. And... Um, and going to pour that libation when your rump is tired. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, I'm not talking about like, you know, just like all the extra woo-woo. I mean, like, listen, we're going to pour these libations, bless and go ahead on the bed. <laughs> all right. Solid. <laughs> and so, um, a minute. And so he was just giving these messages and I was like, wow, babe, I bless you. I thank you. So we got the water and stuff, went out, um, said our prayer, both of us held the water. We said, we said our blessings to indigenous folks and the ancestors that's in our system and everything. Bless the mother, you know, pouring libations, y'all. And so my husband found his spot. He poured his libation and stuff. We was talking about protection and I follow. He poured his libation and everything. And I go to turn around. Come back, pour the libation, boom, said a prayer, did our thing, right? I clapped my hands three times to open. I clapped my hands three times to close. Y'all was tired. I ain't grab no bell, nothing, okay? These hands just make a joyful noise, okay? And so um, I said, Grace, da da da, turn back around. I felt this blessing come down on my head, y'all. This blessing came down on my head. And I was like, whew. And I, I saw my husband's Ori, and I was like, Woo. We came back in, we held space, we dialogued, shared the messages and stuff. From It was very beautiful um, on Indigenous um, Day, well, night. And it was such a beautiful devotion and sharing with each other and stuff like that. And I told him, we really need to record our conversations. We've been having some really good conversations. I'm like, we could bless folks with these conversations. But my husband, you know, he anchored behind the scenes. <laughs> bless him. I bless his head. I love him so much. I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed. And so... um. We was having our conversations and what happened was when I set the intention, he set the intention to go out, I felt some indigenous ancestors come up to our door. And I was just like, babe, we got to go. They here. Right. And then so we did it. And then and I was just like, OK, they here. Here's the thing. If you have not done land acknowledgement, do some land acknowledgement. See who, what uh, indigenous folks lived on your land and all that stuff matters. I did that before. Um, and so I had already started to develop a relationship with the indigenous folks that live here. That's connected actually like my plot, <laughs> like where my house is at, right? And so I felt them come up, did that, received the blessing in my head. I was like, whew, man, everything was just like, whew, a blessing. We sit back, we talking. Y'all, why I see my grandmother go out and start chopping it up with the indigenous folks? We talking about a blessing on our head. What was she doing? What was she talking about? Well, you know what? My grandmother is an elder. I said, I said, Mama done went outside, babe, and she chopping it up with these with these indigenous folks out here. They in the front of my house chopping it up. And me and my husband, we just sitting in the living room talking, having our thing. And, and, and then he was just like, what are they talking about? I said, listen, that's grown folks' business. This is me being, stay at a child's place, <laughs> 40 years old. Listen. Them ancestors doing what they doing. I ain't worried about what they doing. Whatever they doing, I know, I trust because I believe I, believe I live in a friendly universe. Some folks scared of their ancestors. Some folks stay scared of their ancestors. 
the disconnect. We want to bless that. And so I was just like, whatever them elder <laughs> the ancestors is doing, they doing what they doing. I ain't going to worry about it, but I know it's a blessing because I felt it, right? The feeling. Get it. And so I was like, yeah, I feel that. So we sit back, chopping up, chopping up, chopping up. And then shortly I start feeling the closing of the energy. And then I, and I tapped in. And then spirit revealed to me, I was just like, okay, let me just tap in a little bit, see if I can get a little something, right? I'm like a little kid tapping, like, let me peek it, right? I was like, can I just peek it just a little bit? So I got permitted. And I was just like, and I gave myself permission, let's say, I'm sovereign, right? So I'm like, let me see what's going on, because this is affecting my sister, right? And so I was just like, let me see. So I, I got still, and I connected. And what I saw was my grandmother had asked for a protective protection agreement, on my behalf, on all of our behalf, with those indigenous folks. Y'all. Protection. Protection. How did I see that? I saw, and it, it reminded me of the Bible days, I saw like this blood. You know, the sacrifice of um, the story of... Um, I can't remember the Bible story, but the, the they put the blood on the door so that um, whenever that curse would pass over their house, I can't remember. But anyway, that Bible story, y'all. And so I was just like, I had an energy. I had it like this feeling in that. I was just like, oh man, that's a, that's a protection. That's a protection blessing that I felt on my head. And my grandmother had went out. And so um, I was like, wow, I'm just so blessed to have... First of all, I'm blessed for the consciousness, the ancestral consciousness. I'm blessed for the womb ancestral consciousness. But my goodness, I'm blessed for the ability to be able to see and understand and tap into mystery. To even be like, wow, holy cow, I received that ancestral blessing of divine protection and the agreement from the indigenous folks of this land. And I, that's what it was. It closed out. It was a blessed. It was a blessed day, y'all. Um, it was just a really blessed day. So just can I just want to share a little bit of connecting to my world <laughs> with the energy of ancestral protection and devotion and what that looked like in like my experience. Right? Like I give so much thanks. And I've done um, like I said, I open up my my ancestral season very early, like the second week of September. I've been in mother devotion all, all for all this time. I'm already going back to moving to father devotion. I devote myself to womb ancestral consciousness and I really hold that every day, especially, you know, we cap that right night this this time um of the of the seasons, ancestral season, actually. So divine protection embraces me now so what do you do right what do you do i want to go in here if y'all still with me i want to go in here and talk about connecting in this through prayer and your human but first <laughs> before i do that i want to get real quick and tell you about the the mother portal i y'all know i've been posting up and down but i want to get a little bit to talk to you about the mother portal then we're going to go to this prayer and then lastly i'm going to talk about beauty right and connecting to this to beauty but before i do that because um i really want us to kind of tap in and go into prayer and feel this energy and bring it all together i want to talk about this and so then i'm gonna bless you to go ahead on okay so let me get to this I am calling forth those who is a yes, yes, and they pussy, their mind, their heart, their soul. Other than that, and you want and you want to take the divine responsibility and sovereignty for your ancestral patterns or as it relates to your mom. Other than that, don't come. <laughs> don't knock on my door because I'm serious about the work, okay? So, I want to say this. Rather you work with me because I'm back at work privately or in temple as a group a portal container or however i'm holding it as group in my temple i need you to know this one thing from this day forward and i bless when god is collective in temple all souls who come through and knock on my door is this one thing in sovereignty i will always hold you in sovereignty because that's how i hold myself what i do for me of course, that's I live my medicine. I will always hold you in sovereignty. So there is not going to be a space for 
I feel like, um, you know, somebody is attacking me or something. Where's the responsibility? And through love. But correction and adjusting this energy. Why? Because I want you to experience love and freedom and goodness. And it's just not true. Go, let's go in there and see where are you permitting this? Where are you not nourishing sovereignty? Faith, what is the frequency? And let's get to it. Because you want to feel good. Does it <laughs> you want to feel good in your life? You want to feel love. So I'll always hold you in sovereignty as I hold myself. And in that sovereignty, this is how I emit and radiate divine protection. For myself and for those in my container. In that adjustment. Accountability is sovereignty and so is acceptance. And nourishing wisdom, womb wisdom, ancestral wisdom as we journey in life. In partnership, in connection, and however that looks. You on my feet, you're all the way in my temple. You, However it looks, this is my truth and this is the law <laughs> in my world, okay? So what does this all mean? Let's bring it together before we do our closing prayer. Is that I want to invite you in. Where we will be looking at and identifying feminine womb patterns as it relates to our ancestral mothers. Boom. The maternal lineage on both sides. We're not leaving out one side. We're doing both sides. Because everything matters. Everyone will see, receive a personal womb healing from me. It's called the Caldra Energizer to nourish your womb. And I will open up for my mediumship. I will do personal adjustments to your system. I will help you to identify the things. We're going to journey. We're going to write. This is a working. You're not just going to sit and listen to me and transmit and look at me look pretty. We are going to do lineage work. We're going to be doing some journeying and some writing and what's showing up and allowing for ourselves to open and be vulnerable. We're going to do meditative journey. We're going to do the blessing. We are going to do the wound healing. This is lineage work and it is a responsibility. I'm only calling for those who are want who want to be responsible and sovereign. Period. So if that is a yes, yes in your soul, then come on in. That's it, okay? That is what's happening. We are going to be journeying in this in blessing on this Sunday at 3 o'clock over Zoom. And the evening of the full moon that night after the kids go to bed around this time, we going to um, go ahead and do the moon mother blessing. When you sign up, you're going to get both of the containers. You're going to get it all through womb goddess temple in the energy of moon mother what does that look like all of the moon mothers from around the world is going to be sending the womb blessing attunement for sensual energy and ancestral healing at that time i'm going to register you set everything up so you can get the blessing energy and you're going to get the guidance through me we're going to sit we're going to do the ancestral um healing devotion prayer we're going to do the womb blessing connecting to the womb tree we're going to go ahead and do the journey and connection and weaving out all through pussy womb all that good stuff right we're going to do the feminine womb blessing on blessing day so you will receive the energy the frequency of the blessing as well as connect with me in and all that i emit as moon mother and a womb priestess as part of that lineage and that is what we're going to do so you're getting both of the containers it's a privilege it is a privilege to sit with me that's it. It's a privilege because I'm going to tap into your system and see what's happening. We're going to do it together because I take personal responsibility for my expression in my work in the world. And this is my, this is what I was born to do. If this is not a solid yes, then this is not for you. It's just that simple. And that's okay. We connect however we connect. But this right here, womb ancestral healing is my medicine. <laughs> okay. It's my medicine. And it's what I live and it's how I live, right? You can connect with me in a private womb immersion where we do womb ancestral divination and all of the things. But trust me, I always put womb and ancestral energy together. That is what I do. That is my own divination system. So this right here is for those who is a yes. And your pussy and your womb, you know that you want to do this lineage work with your mom and it. That's it. All right. I'll post the link. It's on Eventbrite. It's everywhere. Just, just come on. That's it. The closeout for that is 1 o'clock. 
Now, let's get to your human. One o'clock the day of, on the 17th. What does this look like when you're like, you know what, am I human? I know, I do the alchemy, I do the prayers, I do, I do all this. But on those days when I'm in my human and I feel like I need to connect to the energy of protection, I'm out of my alignment. In this moment, this is the way. Because you first need to acknowledge what you need. You confess. You admit. Why? Because that's the opening. You want to co-create something. You want to have something in your experience. You got to claim it, right? Say it and claim it. That's basic. That's basic, like, 101. <laughs> Learned that from Christian tradition. <laughs> like, that's basic, right? Um, and so the same thing with your human in those moments. In this moment... I honor my desire for protection. Mm. In this moment, you see, because you're just saying in this moment, because this moment will pass. It will pass. It will pass. It will pass. I've been living long enough to know it's true. This too shall pass. But in this moment, my God is in this moment. My God, in this one, ancestral mamas, fathers, oh, angels. Dear Ori, love, however you pray to your highest power, the truth, your body, however that looks and feels to you in resonance of your own prayer power. In this moment, I honor my desire for protection, the frequency of protection. I ask that everything in me goes into total alignment with this desire i surrender to love a love that is far greater than me i surrender to a life of ease and protection why because i'm feeling resistance here in this moment, I honor my need for protection, the feeling of protection. I ask for divine protection to embrace me now. I ask for my ancestors to cover me now. I ask for a great mother to fill me with her love and her presence now. I ask for the feeling of protection. Because in my human, I'm in need. And then I ask for this to be easy. That I may receive the medicine in my system. I bless you in that. May the angel that is me, my own head, and the angels of divine protection that walk with me, your ancestors are angels too. High frequency angelic energy angel ancestors that walk with me in this earth realm, in the infinite realms, those places that I don't know or I could ever imagine, go before me on this day, shielding my mind of all illusions, of separation of love, shielding my body, my soul, my affairs in all place in my care from negative influences and results, touching all experiences on this day. I fully receive these blessings. I allow it. I permit in the power of my own sovereignty. Thank you. Thank you for helping me. Thank you. Thank you for showing me. Thank you. Thank you for aligning me. Thank you. Thank you for filling me. Thank you. Mm. And connect to the spirit, to the spirit, to the frequency of protection to adjust you. What is that? It is love. What is that? It is blessing. I call forth the truth, the blessing that's behind the illusion. Blessing power in blessing. My soul is in complete and sovereign agreement of the protection of all things concerning me. All things, all things. 
everything in my life is protected through love, wisdom, and sovereignty, divine choice, and my responsibility. Even my most sincere and earnest desire of my small one. Because everything is working for the good. That I believe and I stand on. My time, my energy, my resources, my body, my soul, my affairs, my money, my blessings, my health, my holdings, my relationships, my business, my kids, my mind, my pussy, my womb, my pelvic bowl, my heart, my worldly, worldly affairs, my desires, everything, my vision, my truth, my legacy, my power, my ashe, my clothes, my physical reality, that couch I want, that chair I want. All things is held in her and you have access. Nothing, nobody and nothing is keeping us from you. You don't need protection from anyone or anything. The force that is far greater than you in that moment truly is you and is love. I'm done. Like I said, the real the real protective magic is the ownership, the claiming of your sovereignty. My goodness, isn't it good to know? Isn't it good to know? I report on behalf of the goddess. And it feels good to know. And it feels so good to know. My goodness. And it feels so good to know that I am sovereign. And it's true. Yes, it's true. I am sovereign. Tell yourself that when you when you feel disconnected. I am sovereign. It's true. I am sovereign. It's true. I am sovereign. It's true. I believe it's true. And I know and I know. And I know and I know and I know. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I surrender. I don't know. Sometimes I just don't know. Feel the openness of don't. I don't know. I don't know. But I believe. I believe I'm sovereign. It's true. I do. I believe I'm sovereign. It's true. I do. I believe I'm sovereign. I'm sovereign. I believe it's true. My sovereignty is my protection. It feels so good to be sovereign. And I believe it's true. In my womb, in my heart, in my pussy, in my truth, I believe it's true. Through the power of love, my ancestors, I believe it's true. Because I live in a friendly mother of the universe, I believe it's true. I believe true because I live in a father universe, I believe it's true. I believe because I love in a universe that is it and has it and has all the things in it. I believe it's true. I believe it's true. I believe it's true. In the ways that I don't believe it's true, I ask for faith. In those ways, I ask for my well ancestors to hold the faith. In those ways, I ask for the mother to hold me. Until I believe and I believe and believe and I increase my faith and I believe and I believe and I believe that it's true. That I sit here in my seat of sovereignty. All aligns with that. Until it is so and so and so and so and I see it and so and so and so and so. Through love. I bless you. I bless you, 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 I bless you. This is it. This is the energy for which I will be working in, teaching in, living in, preaching in, <laughs> and all the things. This is core energy for Womb Goddess Temple and particularly in the offerings that I will be giving and, and allowing a mother to hold me in. She's the holder. I am channeling. <laughs> she's working through me i don't do this on my own believe you me i don't i am human and so i bless and i give thanks for the mind to live my full experience and my desires and expression did you know the reason why i decided to come and do this container in whole womb ancestral season this this year simply because my womb required it of me my enchantress my priestess energy in my womb was just like this is what I want you to do you need to do this in order to be fully expressed this is how I want to express through you this is how my womb want to express itself even my work especially my work everything that I do is through womb 
So womb says this, this is what's necessary for adjusting and feeling expressed, then I'll do it. And whoever comes, come. If you feel called to come, use the Eventbrite link. If you feel like you want to connect with me a little more, DM me, inbox, however you need to do. Other than that, I bless you to, to join me. It's going to be a beautiful time. It's always a beautiful time. And we connect with the beauty, right? I want you to connect with the beauty of all of life. Connect with the sovereignty and the beauty of sovereign. Why? That's why we allow for pleasure. I didn't get a chance to get to the notes. I want to get to the notes real quick for that. But that's what we allow for pressure. I knew I was feeling something that I was leaving out. Um, when we connect to the beauty, in order to make someone your enemy, you can't see them as human. Be human. This is the beauty. And connect with human. Take advantage of seeing people as human and yourself. Accepting those parts of you in your line, unravel them in trust and love and no condemnation, meaning I release the judgment and the shame in my human as my human evolves. And so I am the, um, the evolving ancestor, right? Because it is so incredibly miraculous to take responsibility and to be sovereign and tap into power and your full birthright blessings. And it's supernatural. Like, whew, that experience I had with my, my grandma and, and, the, and those ancestors. And then it's so incredibly just so human and, and it's so humbling at the same time. It's like, wow, I'm sitting here in my human, yet ah, this whole, these whole experiences is like, it's miraculous. And that's what's so beautiful about being a human being. So I bless you and your human to recognize your fragility in, in, and your supernatural. Connect with the beauty and the strength of the beauty and the preciousness of your soul. And allow all of that to enrich in you, to be enriched, right? It's all about the enrichment, feeling the fulfilling, the abundance that looks like love in all this way. Ancestral devotion, womb ancestral devotion enriches me. And that's why I'm here. I say, in closing, in blessings, I bless you, I bless you, I bless you. Thank you so much for taking the time and listening to me and be part of this womb goddess temple. I love you so very much and it's true, I really do because I am infinite love and I exude infinite love and in love there is all powerful and all knowing and so I bless you in that love, that divine love, that detached love, that true love. I love you, I bless you. I pray that this was a blessing to you that your soul received that your head receive your womb, your pussy, your ancestral lineage, that even this transmission will activate within you and will unlock and open all truth for you. I bless you in the power of all knowing, all holding, all loving, infinite divine love. I bless you in your true sovereignty and in the protection of your sovereignty. Have a good night. Peace.